Hello friend, uh, welcome to the channel. So today we will learn about Azure Alerts. We will talk about why we need Azure Alerts and how we can create that. So I will go with a step-to-step -step guide and show you how we can set up Azure Alerts. Okay. So before we go ahead, let's uh, talk about why we even need a zero alert. So if you are an engineer, software engineer, or maybe you're a software architect, uh, your application is deployed in a production environment where you don't have, you know, more controls over the code because the code is already uh, deployed on the server. And you want to take care of your uh, application health. So you wanted to see if there was some exception, or if there's something going on, a memory leakage, or you know, some other sort of issues, you wanted to get some alerts. That alert maybe could be, you know, not if, uh, email, or could be SMS, or maybe some other medium like a web hook. So for that need, we have this Azure Alerts. So let's go ahead and see how we can create an Azure Alert. So first of all, uh, as you know, you have to go to portal.azure.com and when you are logged into portal.azure.com over here you need to say alerts there you will see this option alerts go inside this uh, i had already this window open but i still wanted to show you how i reached out here but sometime microsoft update all these options i had uh, issues in the past when i go to the search box and i type to alert this option was not visible and you know i was struggling to find this option so there are other ways one way that you can do uh, going here and you can search for monitor so if you say monitor right and when you say monitor you will see this option alerts here so this will give you the same screen this is one way uh, the other way the third way could be go over here this hamburger icon over here you will see the same option monitor and from here you can come again to the same page why this is important you know sometime Microsoft just changed all these UI so we should be aware of all those different options over here, when you land to this page, you will see there is a, on the top, there is a button called create with plus icon. Click on alert rule. It will ask you all those information, you know, which subscription you want to select. So whatever subscription you have, just select that. Uh, right now I have this subscription available, so I will choose the subscription. Now it will ask you on what resource you wanted to implement this alert. So there are various resources that you can, you know, implement. It could be app surface, it could be service bus, or it could be an application gateways, application inside. So for our uh, demo, let's use application inside. So what I need to do, I need to say, here we go. So we have application insights. Uh, so it will show me, you know, so right now I have only one application inside setup that is, uh, that is weather hyphen forecast. So I will choose that. Let's choose that, done. Okay, so the first step is done, which is scope. Now, it, I need to set up a condition. Let's go next step. So it will ask me, you know, uh, what signal type you wanted to go. Since uh, I'm doing this application inside, I will go for logs. So, you know, I can look at the logs while uh, making this alerts, and I will see wh what sort of logs, and you know, according to that, I can send the alert. So let's say signal type log. Uh, for monitor surveys, I would say application insight. Uh, and this is, you know, custom log search, okay? So this is done. Now it has opened a one window. You know, you can write the query here or maybe you can close this and, you know, write your query here. So since this is application insight, you need to uh, learn some customer's query. So let's set up some query. For example, uh, I will set up my alerts on exception. So I wanted to see if there is some exception in my system. I wanted to see the alert. So what I will do, I will say exception where uh, like star contains. And I will say, uh, for example, this is my production app. I will say the app name and it could be anything. I'm just giving you one example. So an exception has occurred on this system. So what I'm saying, because you know, if you understand application inside, there are various tables where we are just capturing the logs. So these are the various tables, traces, exceptions, you know, custom events. So I'm looking at exception. 
I do not want any exception to occur in my system on my production. So that's why I'm, you know, keeping a close look through this Azure alert. So let's cancel it. Okay. So this is my exception uh, message. If there is any exception, you know, uh, with this message, I wanted to trigger the alert. So this is another, let's go ahead and this is fine. You know, so what it will does, it will say count that i mean you know we will understand how uh, this is linked with you know uh, the next step is linked with this count <coughs> so so this aggregation entity so it says you know after every what minutes you wanted to uh, look at the records so i'm saying five minutes let's go ahead i will leave this as it is because these are not required and this is the alert logic right so it says operator greater than threshold value you know what number i wanted to see i'm saying even if there is you know uh, the count is where i have set this count if the count is greater than one that means the exception is more than one i wanted to receive the alerts right so that is one way or you can say you know, greater than or equal to even if there is you know one exception in my system or maybe more than one uh, exception in my system i wanted to receive the alert and again, you know, the frequency of this evaluation would be five minutes, right? So it will check for last five minutes. If there are more records, more than one of one, I should receive the email alert. So for sure, you know, you need to pay some cost because this is your resource. Uh, this is just a, you know, uh, the query window they have shown. So if there are any records according to this condition, you will see some sort of graph over here. Or when it was triggered so that graph but for now we don't have anything so it would be empty let's go to next step okay so this is another step which says action and this is the step where you want to set up that who all will receive the email alert so there is option you know either you can create an action group that means new action group and in the action group it is you know a list of people who want to receive the alerts it could be SMS, it could be email, it could be uh, push notifications, or it could be webhook. Here, if you have any existing group, you can go over here and you can select the existing group, right? But this is something you know, uh, I do not want to use, so I will show you. So this is the one, if you wanted to choose the existing one, I, but I will show you how you can uh, choose, the, uh, you can go and create a new action group. So for that, you can create a new action group and here for sure you know you need to select all those things source group and all so i will say default thing and i will say so this is the name that you want to say uh say for example let's say action exception alerts right uh so this name should be you know picked by default let's go ahead in the next step it will ask you what type of notification you want to receive you can say email as your resource manager role or you can say email sms message in all those things that we talked or even it supports voice as well so i will say email and here you go so you have a list of options which option you want to uh, choose right so if you want to go for email you can say email you know and uh, so on so let's start with even sms right for example let's say this is my email id i want to receive email over here Email.com. So this is done, and I need to say what is the real name for that person. I would say it will be Kumar, and you know you can keep adding uh, multiple over here, multiple uh, you know uh, person. So let's say application manager. So this he uh, this person would be manager and let's say app manager at the rate gmail.com so we will say next uh, let's say action type i wanted to see okay so this we are not going to talk about this because you know uh, this is something different you can set a webhook and all but for now let's focus over you know the notification thing how you can receive the notification the next uh text is fine we don't need to worry about create so this is one 
action group we have created that means you have set up one list of people who will receive the emails and i have two emails over here so you see now you have created one action group you were able to choose that similarly uh, if it was created already you can go over here you can you know search your uh, action group so you have to choose the right subscription and all okay so let's go ahead so this is the detail you know you need to say for example what rule name you wanted to display so let's say production app exception or maybe not email let's say exception okay it's not a line special character over here so this is my alert production app exception alert right uh, let's say next uh, this is tax we are good with tax let's ignore that tax for now because that is not required okay now i'm creating one alert rule so this is all you are done so let's wait for you know a couple of seconds it takes a couple of seconds and uh, once your alert is uh, created you can go over here and you know you should be able to see your alerts okay so i don't see my alert let's refresh it mm -mm -mm. go to alert rule okay so here you go production app exception alert right so this is how you can uh, look at your alert so i was looking at the wrong place actually so this is something you know that will show you the dashboard so if you want to see your uh, alerts you need to go to alert rules right so you will see there were existing alerts also but this is the one that i have created uh, right now right you can open it you can delete it you know you can do whatever you want even you don't need it you can disable it right let's go inside it and so this is how it opens right whatever we have set you can set all those information this was the query and here you can you know it also shows when you have something ready it will show you uh, when it was triggered yeah so this is how you can create an alert i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something if there are any feedback any comments please uh, add that on uh, this chat or uh, on the comment box i will try to you know cover those in the next video thank you so much bye bye have a nice day